Hi guys, Lee here from Trading College with your free market update for the 5th of February. We're going to take a look at a couple of trades here. We're going to look at the FTSE and we're also going to look at the overnight trade in the Aussie dollar. After many years of teaching, I think um, keeping it simple can be one of the toughest things that us traders uh, have challenges with. Uh, we like technicals, we like charts, we like reading about the news and we like um, finding out the reason why things are happening as traders and investors. Um, but the most important thing is making a return on capital and keeping it simple. Now the research done over the years and I'm reading a, a really good book at the, uh, at the moment called The Game Plan and it's, it's, a, it's a guy who's um, a, a psychologist and he's working with the England cricket team and um, it's very, very interesting indeed. You know, you can get it on, uh, get it on Kindle and read that. But pretty good, pretty good book. And it just talks about just keeping it simple, being focused, um, and you know, retaining the amount of information you can retain um, is pretty much limited. So it may be one of the reasons why people struggle with trading. I think it really is. Now, if you look at the FTSE, because I'm hearing so many, so much negativity around the FTSE 100. Um, we had a pro trading system buy here. Uh, at the 6.9 area, 6,900. And then we had a target here and a stop here. So today we reached the target. And that is a nice profit, 6.938 all the way up to 7,116. You can do the maths, very nice profit indeed. And the reason we got long as well was because of the pro trading system buy and we made a higher low so on the way down here we look for short trades don't we nice big move short trades on the way down and then when we make a move higher we don't take that trade because we could make another red to the downside and you certainly could have shorted this one here but once we make that higher low then that's the long side trade that is the one you want to be taking and now we're up to seven one uh, one six so just a really simple process keeping it simple and getting good at following the strategy. Now, the long side trades all started, that was the pro trade system daily, all started from our trend predictor long. So we had a green arrow three weeks ago. So this is the current trading week and it's nicely up. There was the green, dark green, which said it was down, but then we had a light green arrow saying look for long trades. So we had a nice move up here on the FTSE 100 uh, from 6,800 all the way up to 7,117, okay. So urging you to keep it simple, um, trade with systems and strategies that you're familiar with and and are, are good at uh, bringing in some profits and bringing consistent profits in. But you know, we're pretty much at that first target. It is time now to sort of get out of this trade to look for banking these profits because you know, we are, yeah, that's a nice profit there. We need to sort of get out of that and start uh, taking money off the table. Now, we could project higher targets, which is 7,528 uh, 7, on the FTSE, which I think could come, but we certainly need, I think we need now a pullback and back down to six or 7,000. And then we break through this area here. While it stays green, it's bullish. Once it starts turning red like this, that is full exit. That is getting out the trade completely. Let's take a little look at last night's Scan Club overnight trade that we did with members. Take a look at the Aussie then. So we had yesterday, that's yes, that's Monday's candlestick. We had a green arrow last night. We run the Scan Club from seven to eight on the Monday evening. And that was setting up. And we had some news out on the Aussie dollar as well. So we had green trend predictor. So what we do, as I'm sure you've seen on previous videos, we just go down to um, smaller time frames in here. And this, what we do is if we just take, so that's last night. Okay, so that's last night, midnight, Tuesday midnight. Um, what we do is you just take that trend line all the way across the highs. You place your order here overnight on this trade with the trend predictor because remember we're drilling down, we're trying to get good risk reward. 
and then news comes out, boom, in the trade. Very nice move, 40 odd pips um, on that one and risking about 20. So nice move. And that one, that trade, um, you can set that up uh, while you're sleeping. So that's just, these are mechanical trade setups that allow us to get good at just following the, the, the strategy in the system. You get good at doing that. Um, then, then you know, and understanding some technical analysis and understanding um, patterns and things like that, then you're on to a winner. And those that do like trading the German DAX, get a lot of people uh, asking about the DAX in our live trading room. If you see um, where we are, and we want to keep it simple, don't we? We want to, we had a trend predictor here saying that we could be going higher. We exploded higher the next day. And then we've just got a pro trend system buy at 10,700. And then we've got a target here. And then we've got a great big target at 12,171. Um, that's a long way off. Uh, but we're, we're still green. We're still green. We're getting new green buy signals again today, as in, you know, we're starting to get some um, direction here. And let's see how far the DAX wants to go. And it's all about just going into trading stop mode on the DAX as we continue to push higher. Um, so basically, what if you think it's bearish, if you think the DAX or FTSE is going to go down, you want to be waiting for these signals to confirm. Um, you know, trying to short something that's green on the pro trading system is not good. You want to be waiting for confirmation for red confirmation candlesticks and to get those entries and targets, but the opposite way around, looking for the short side, not the long side in this market. All right, um, which is which is uh, not here at the moment. Let's take a look at gold. So we've had a really nice move up on the gold market and that started from around here. I've got to go back down to a smaller time, a uh, bigger time frame in the weekly because this is where it all started, guys. So we had trend predictor here. In fact, I was on the IGTV that particular week just before Christmas. Um, just saying that I was looking for gold to go higher because we had the trend predictor looking for gold to go higher. Um, and then that's a case then on the weekly, just looking for that move higher. Then it's a case of you know just looking at smaller time frames, getting into looking for getting into these trades. Um, and a nice move up on gold here. Nice rotation, higher highs and higher lows. Yeah, you know, we didn't break that support area, so we didn't make a a lower low. And then a green, then a red. We continue to make a higher low. New buy signals pushed higher. Now, what I am looking for here on gold is a pullback. I think gold's going to pull back to this moving average, which is 1,300. Um, and then we'll see where we go from there because this has got a bit of divergence. If we come down here, we make a lower high and turn red, then that will be short side trades. But you know, at the moment, very, very bullish still. I am expecting a pullback on gold. And then that next wave uh, with new green pro trade system, we'll see if that wants to continue to make higher highs. But really nice move on gold, guys. You know, it's all in the system. Just got to learn a little bit about technical analysis and combine it with the system. And you're on to a nice strategy. So if you want to learn more about these strategies and the transparency of them, then we do have our Learn to Trade Live this Saturday for February, guys. It is a one-day course. Learn how to trade from home. Learn the strategies that we use. And looking at the trend predictor, pro trend system, momentum trading, morning move strategy, going for that morning move before work. And it is CPD credited. Uh, you will receive a certificate for this. Uh, if you want to, it is this Saturday. Okay, we are at London. We're at the Sea Containers Hotel, beautiful hotel on the uh, South Bank in London. All right, Blackfriars is the bridge close to that, and uh, it's a great venue. Next one is 9th of March, that's in Manchester. So we'll be showing you strategies, learning to trade. Looking forward to seeing you guys then. Make sure you just secure your spot. It is free with a £50 deposit uh, to secure your place, which you receive the week after the course. So Tuesday the week after you receive that deposit back. All right, guys. Have a great rest of the day. Enjoy another cracking day trading and uh, be safe. Take care. Bye-bye.